might sound crazy, but I've been on 87 Tinder dates this year. My last date was the worst one yet. I was on another day before this, and I just had sex. He told oh. you that? Why would he tell you that? That's not even the worst part. Screw being mature. Yes, we can still make bad choices for a few more years. When you tell the story in the future, just promise me you will change that part. Together, we will take this city by storm. We are not afraid of you, New York. We're the bravest people in this city. <clears throat> I'll drink to that. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, my name is Rebecca. I work as a staff writer at Next Shark. Um, and the first question I have for you is what made you um, a fan of the original series, How I Met Your Mother? And how did that pique your interest to take on a role for How I Met Your Father? Uh, well, with regards to what made me a fan of How I Met Your Mother, like most people, it was a lot of things, right? You fall in love with the characters. They're just so mm -hmm. unique and fun. Um, but like if there was something specifically, I'd say it was just that sense of friendship that they nurtured in that show mm -hmm. that I really personally felt for very strongly. And uh, with regards to How I Met Your Father, that's kind of what I was hoping for or looking forward to yeah. or looking for in project. Because <clears throat> I knew if they try to make something, if they try to make How I Met Your Mother again, uh, it yeah. wouldn't work out. But, you know, they needed to make something new. But at the same time, I knew that, or I hope that that sense of familiarity, that sense of friendship, that sense of struggling together and supporting each other uh, would come through in this show. And uh, hopefully that's what's happening. Um, and so How I Met Your Mother takes place during the early 2000s while the current spinoff takes place in our current time in 2022. So with the change in technology from like the early 2000s to now with modern times, um, how would you say the two series reflect similarities and differences in terms of like the world of dating and like the dating scene? Uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, How I Met Your Father is um, almost 20 years later, right, from How I Met Your Mother. So obviously we live in a different world now where, you know, the user technology is heavy when it comes to dating with like dating apps and stuff like that. Um, and I And I appreciate how they've kind of incorporated that into the story. I mean, there's no escaping it because obviously that's just the world we live in. Mm -hmm. um, and that's beautiful. But at the same time, the thing I respect about the show, How Much Your Father, is that it does not relegate love or dating to just like online dating, right? Like you have characters that meet in person and then move countries to be together. Mm -hmm. You have characters that are like in a long distance relationship and like totally in love and met in college. And then you have people who are trying to online date. So it kind of tries to encompass everything that love is today. Uh, and I think, I think that's beautiful. At the end of the day, the ups and downs of love is what is similar, similar with how much your mother, how much your father, or, you know, just in the world in general, because yeah. those things don't really change. Uh, but yeah, the technology is different. So yesterday it was announced that you guys got renewed for a second season. So congratulations on that. For this upcoming season, what are you hoping for to see in your character, Sid, especially in his uh, relationship with Hannah? Uh, I, well, I'm hoping to see growth and some form of change, some sort of evolution for him. Uh, at the end of the day, like, I love Sid. I love where he is. I love where he can go. I mean, there's a lot of room to improve and grow. Mm -hmm. But, like, I also just, like, kind of love being surprised by the writers. Like, we don't know what's going to happen episode to episode, right? We find out, like, two days before the, the, we shoot the episode. And I love that because the writers are so good. That, you know, they just throw surprises at us constantly. Yeah. Just being a part of that, like, living life yeah. as Sid um, <laughs> is really cool. And I'm looking forward to that. Do you feel like you can relate to your characters and like what like what different aspects do you feel like you can connect with Sid? Well, the the thing I look up to Sid, uh, what I look up to with regards to Sid is that he's like constantly bolstering his friends, right? He's super loyal. He tells people what's good about them. He tries to support them and be honest with them. Um, and through the season, you will see that. And I think it's just a beautiful thing. Like I cherish that quality in my friends 
and hope that some of it exists within me too. Um, with regards to uh, like um, what we have similar is that, you know, Sid's kind of the type of guy who would go and do something if he really wants to, uh, he'll do it. But then he, he might not necessarily think about it too much. He just mm-hmm. finds himself in a situation and then kind of like has to figure it out. I yeah. do that also a lot. I find myself <laughs> in situations where I wanted to be there, but now that I'm there, what the hell do I do? Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's fun. And I like that about Sid too. Um, so yeah, I relate to him, but he's different enough from me for me to like work on it. Yeah. So one thing that's very different from the original series and the spin-off series is that there's this inclusion of a very diverse cast and how I met your uh, met your father. But in the original series, it was an entirely white cast. And so as a South Asian actor, what is something you wish to see more in terms of like the film industry or the entertainment industry? And what is something you also want to see more for your character Sid in terms of his South Asian background? Well, um, yeah, we've come a long way. I mean, the fact that this show exists with the diverse cast that it has is a beautiful thing and a good sign for what has come. Obviously, there's a lot that still has to be done. Um, What I'm hoping for is, you know, I I keep saying this, like, it's good to have actors of diverse backgrounds and orientations on screen. That's super important. But I feel like what's more important is having people of that diverse background and orientations behind the screen, in the writing room, producing and stuff like that. Because that's how those stories get told. Otherwise, they're told with a certain level of inauthenticity. Um, And that's the case on this show. And it's a a beautiful thing to see such a diverse writer's room and stuff like that. It's beautiful. That's what uh, I'm gunning for. And as far as since considered, what I really appreciate is that, yes, he's he's South Asian. And that is highlighted. But it's not uh, put on some sort of stage like that's who he is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that's something that has always irked me in terms mm-hmm. of, you know, some level of tokenism in the industry. Uh, but seeing that change, seeing that develop into normalcy, like there's just a normal person mm-hmm. or something, you know, whatever background they're, they're from, uh, yeah. is just so much better, so much more beautiful, so much more, it's so fruitful, right? And like yeah. growing up, like I didn't see any like South Asians on screen. I did a couple of couple of times and kudos to them it must have been even more, more tough back then but um mm-hmm. not that much you know so it's beautiful to see normalcy in color yeah. um on screen i just love it <laughs> and to get rid of like that stereotypes yeah. that you see a lot yeah uh, so which original cast member if you could choose from the original series would you want to see the most? And do you think there's a possibility of a cameo appearance possibly in the next season? Uh, Who would I choose would probably be Lily Marshall. Us. Uh, we're adorable. We're Marshmallow and Lilypad, bit. I'd go with one of them. Like, they just, I love them. I love the characters. It was a beautiful thing. I most, like, connected with them when I was watching How I Met Your Mother. And as far as cameos are considered, like, yeah, yeah, death. Maybe not even next it's, season. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think that's it. So thank you for taking time out of your day today to interview with me. And congratulations oh. again on your uh, second season renewal. Thank you, Rebecca. That's very nice of you.